Having mods or plugins is an excellent way to bring excitement to your Minecraft gameplay. While mods and plugins are both great, by default they're not compatible with each other. If you want mods on your server, you won't be able to use plugins, and if you want to use plugins, you won't be able to use mods. There may be some features that you want your server to have, but you can't find any mods for, or maybe you want to add some features that don't require installation on the non-server user side. With SpongeForge, you're going to be able to have both mods and plugins. However, there are some restrictions with this. SpongeForge only has compatibility with Minecraft versions 1.12.2, 1.10.2, and 1.11.2. SpongeForge is also not compatible with bucket plugins. You can only download Sponge plugins. While there may be some restrictions with SpongeForge, it's definitely a great way to add both mods and plugins to your server. Today we're going to walk you through how you can install and use SpongeForge on your Apex server. Our first step is going to be heading to the official SpongeForge download page, which is going to be linked under the video. And then make sure on this drop down here to select the version of Minecraft or the Forge version that you are using on your server previous to installing SpongeForge. For example, I'm running 1.12.2, so if I click off and then go ahead and look for it again, or I just click on that right there, it'll bring me to the version of Minecraft that I need to be on. The SpongeForge jar is broken down into three different parts. This first part, or before the first dash, is 1.12.2, which is the version of Minecraft that you're on. After the first dash, or before the second dash, this is the version of Forge. And then after the second dash, this is the API. Apex keeps its Forge versions pretty up to date. We're using 2847. And as you can see, the latest recommended version is 2825. So it's a little behind, but it should work just fine. So go ahead and download that. And then go ahead and move the jar to where you know it's going to be later on. And now that we've gotten the correct version of SpongeForge, our first step is, of course, before changing any server files, is stopping the server. And once your servers come to a full stop, we're ready to install our plugins. Let's go ahead and head to FTP file access, and then log in with our passwords. And once we're in the server browser page, we can go to the mods folder. From there, you're going to want to head to upload and then open up the folder where you have all of your plugins and SpongeForge and then click and drag them to the part of the page where it's telling you to drop your files to upload. And once you've uploaded all of your plugins, you can go ahead and scroll up to the top of the page and click on the name of your server to head back to the main Multicraft page. From there, we're going to want to scroll down and create a new world. It is always recommended to create a new world to ensure that there is no world corruption. So for example here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to just name it world. And once you've done that, we're going to scroll down and hit save. Once you've saved and you're at the top of the page, you can go ahead and start or restart your server whenever you're ready. And once your server starts up, you know that you have successfully installed SpongeForge onto your Apex server. Now that we're through with all of that, let's go ahead and go over some of the common issues that can occur during this installation. Our first issue is the server getting stuck during loading. This happens a lot of times when you're modifying the server. It'll need to be confirmed before it will fully start. This happens a lot, especially when you remove or add mods. Most of the time in console, you're going to see something like a missing mod ID error. All you need to do to resolve this error is type something like slash fml and then space and then c-o-n-f-i-r-m slash fml space confirm. And as you can see here, after I type slash fml space confirm, we got the server online and running. And our second issue is the server crashing after adding SpongeForge. If your server's crashing after adding SpongeForge, it's likely due to having the wrong version of SpongeForge, the world not being reset, or mods with compatibility issues. Go ahead and double check by heading to the mods folder if you have the right version of SpongeForge. If not, you're going to need to delete it and then reinstall the correct one. 
scrolling down here and looking for the sponge forge version, you can see that we have 1.12.1 when we are on the forge version 1.12.2. So we're going to need to delete that and then re-upload the correct version or just upload the correct version by heading into upload and clicking and dragging the version of SpongeForge that we actually need, which is this one right here. And as you can see, it has the correct version of Forge, which will be compatible with our server. Now that we're sure we have the right version of SpongeForge, let's head back to the mods folder and check on something else that may be causing our server issues. One of the issues is an incompatible mod or mods in this case. Mods that don't work with SpongeForge at all are foam fix and lag goggles. Make sure to click on the checks when you're trying to delete something so that when you head to the top of the screen, you have those mods selected because they do not work with SpongeForge. Go ahead and then delete them and submit. And once you're sure you've gotten the correct version of SpongeForge and you've gotten the incompatible mods out of the way, head back to the name of your server at the top here. And once you're sure that you've gotten everything out of the way there, you can attempt to restart your server. But if for any reason you're still not starting up, what you can do is head down to the world input here. Go ahead and clear that. It'll create a new world for you. And then scroll down and hit save. The reason that we're restarting the world or creating a new one is because you may have compatibility issues with your server. Go ahead and restart the server. And if you need a better tutorial on how to reset your world, we're going to put one below the video. And as you can see, making sure that we have the right version of SpongeForge and we have deleted the incompatible mods, got our server up and running. And now for our last error, if your server is crashing specifically after you add your plugins, it probably means that one of the plugins you've added is missing a dependency, is wrong version, or a corrupted jar. Go ahead and check all the plugins to make sure that they're the correct version or they don't have any dependencies. And if they do have dependencies, make sure to add them onto your server. After jumping into FTP, I head to the mods folder and I look for the mod that is giving me trouble. In this case, it's Luckperms. I select it and then I head up to the top, delete, and then submit. This is all you need to do if you have a trouble mod. And then what I do is I had to upload and then I upload a more updated or correct version of Luckperms. And once I'm sure it's fully loaded, 100% one out of one files, it's time to restart the server. And as you can see, we now have our server up and running. Well, folks, there you go. You've got SpongeForge installed on your Apex server, and you did it all by yourself with a little help from the Apex team. Now, I want to thank you for watching this tutorial, and I want to thank you for using an Apex server. And as always, I hope you have lots of fun.